Hello friends, welcome to TechoTV.com phone guide. Here in this video, I'm going to show you how to get ripple effect on lock screen of your Samsung Galaxy H2 phone running Eleven Android 4.1.2 OS. Here, as you can see, this is the default lock screen of Samsung Galaxy H2 phone on Eleven Android, and we do not get any kind of ripple effect as we get on Samsung Galaxy S3. So let's see how we can add that ripple effect on this phone. Proceeding ahead with this tutorial, you need to make sure your phone is running Android 4.1.2 that is Jellywin XXLS8 or XWLS8 firmware. And your phone must be rooted also. And you must have CWM installed as the recovery mode. On your phone so to get all these things if your phone is not on this particular firmware if your phone is not rooted and if your phone doesn't contain clockwork mode recovery then just follow the link given in the description section of this video on how to update your phone with the required firmware and the required uh, CWM package required routing before proceeding ahead so let me first of all switch up my phone. So let me just boot into the recovery mode by pressing volume up key, then home button and then power button together. Now you can see I have this Filge Touch 4 recovery mode installed on my phone. This comes with CWM base version 6. You can see in this video. So you must uh, follow the guide, uh, follow the link given in the description section of this video to get this particular recovery on your phone before proceeding ahead with this particular mod that will enable ripple effect on your the lock screen of Samsung Galaxy H2 phone. So, uh, install this particular mod. I have already copied that particular modding package, that particular mod file on my external SD card of my phone. So, I have to go to this install zip option, and then here you can see I have to choose select this option choose zip from SD card. And here I have this particular file ripple effect.jif that is zip. So I have to install this particular modding package that will enable ripple effect on my phone. And I have to choose yes here. Yeah. Now you can see the mod is in progress and now it's complete. So let's go back and let's reboot system. And now we'll check whether this ripple effect on our lock skin is activated or not now when the, your phone starts for the first time it starts optimizing apps as if you just flashed a new firmware but we didn't flash any kind of new firmware we just flashed this particular mod to enable ripple effect Now you can see we are right on the lock screen here and you can see the ripple effect is already activated right on the lock screen but to make sure you do not receive any kind of crashing or error just go to lock screen and then to the lock screen options And then uncheck repo effect. Right now, you do not get any kind of repo effect on the lock screen. Right now, go again to the settings and then to lock screen, lock screen options, and just check repo effect. Done. 
Now on the lock screen, you can see we have the ripple effect. The same as we see on Galaxy S3 phone. Just tap anywhere on the lock screen and you can see a ripple effect. I hope you can observe the same in this video. Cool, isn't it? We do not get any kind of error here. Everything is working fine. Our firmware is all the same as it was before. So this is working proof that ripple effect can be successfully activated, used, enabled on your Android phone running Jellybean firmware with this particular mode. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep watching us.